Hey y'all, Taker here, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have the prize figure of Bulma, specifically the Glitters and Glamour edition of her. And looking at the box, she's already in much better condition than the last unboxing of Android 18. Um, and of course, Amazon wasn't the one who delivered this either. The hunting this figure down was definitely a challenge. The biggest issue came from the fact that she's out of print and her aftermarket's ridiculous. She would be going up for nearly $110, which is crazy because when she originally came out, she was closer to $25. Um, luckily, I hunted her down a bit and was able to get her at a reasonable price from Mercari. Uh, Mercari's, I feel like it's underrated in terms of a second hand, or it's kind of like, it works like an eBay, where it's private sellers trying to sell their items like clothes and um, other things. But I don't think, usually I don't think of them when I'm trying to find anime figures, but here we are, and let's get right into it, shall we? And now she is pre-owned. The original owner did display her, so the box isn't sealed, but it does come with all of its original packaging. Nice. Now, as you have noticed, there is quite a good bit of assembly um, to this figure versus the Android 18 figure. So she'll be in four pieces. The base, her torso and head, and her pigtails. Overall, this is an absolutely fantastic prize figure. I'm not surprised it rose in value as I've seen it in the aftermarket. It has pretty much everything you want to see in a figure, but it doesn't cost $200. The sculpting makes it look like it's straight from the original Dragon Ball animation. It's a very old school style Bulma, which is my favorite Bulma. That is my favorite rendition of Bulma in the entire Dragon Ball series. The attention to detail is all there as well. The wrinkles from the clothing, the ever so gentle um, lifting of her skirt, or I should, shouldn't we call it a skirt, it's really just an oversized jersey, baseball jersey. She has her dragon radar as well. And of course she has the gun at her hip because it's always dangerous to go alone. And yeah, this is just the complete package. This is just the definitive Bulma. If you're trying to get a Bulma figure in your collection, I believe this is the one that you want to get. Now, and I, I really, now I really don't have many gripes with this figure. Uh, Maybe it's the base. The base is a little bit wonky, a little bit difficult to put on, but it saves, it is very shelf friendly. This is a very shelf friendly figure. Since the base is very minimal, you can kind of pose her with other figures with very little issue. So that's something that's going for her. The 
paint job's really good for a, for a prize figure. I don't even think I can really fault paint jobs or anything. I want to say, I want to say this might be, in my opinion, the ideal prize figure. It's obviously not master class, but it portrays the character so well that its shortcomings becomes its strengths. This is a very good figure. Don't even, <laughs> like, I wouldn't suggest you spend $120 on this particular prize figure, but if you can find it in a reasonable range, maybe $50, $60, I'd say this is a must buy. It's really, really good. I, <laughs> but enough of me hyping this up. That's all, that's all I have for today, for this review. Thank you very much for joining me in this unboxing. And if you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.